Much. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. It's interesting to hear a Liberal member after nine years realize that they've now also broken the CBC. Uh, you know, they broke, they broke housing, um, they've broken the criminal justice system. You sort of go down the list of uh, what they've broken uh, over the last several years, including when the, the Prime Minister broke the English language by inventing a word called brokenest. Uh, which was uh, a treat for all of us to listen to uh, just last week. But what I want this, 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 th what came out of the committee is this: that given the job cuts announced at CBC Radio Canada for the year 2024, that it would be inappropriate for the CBC to grant bonuses to the executive members. Because they broke the CBC so badly with terrible appointments and terrible management, a committee had to take the unprecedented step of telling the CBC not to give out bonuses when they've performed so poorly. It's really actually unheard of. This has not happened uh, in the history of the CBC. So you have to, uh, you have to wonder, um, how did this government so incompetently manage uh, the CBC through the people they've appointed to run it. They've done an absolutely abysmal job. These Liberals have run the CBC into the ground. So viewership at the CBC has collapsed by 50 per cent since 2018. Think about that, 50 per cent. Now, if you were in any kind of other environment, if you had declined your goal production in hockey by 50 per cent, I'm guessing your team wouldn't be giving you a bonus. I, I mean, I've never run an NHL team, but I can't imagine a player going into the owner and saying, you know, I scored 40 goals last year. This year I scored 20. Um, I, I, I just want to talk about my bonuses. It just wouldn't happen. But because these liberals are just so incompetent with everything, and they've just... Everyone now thinks they can do whatever they want. So the CBC executives, because there's really no one running the ship over there, they don't know what's going on, they're incompetent, their incompetence is spreading to every department. These people thought, let's do, uh, let, me, let me think about this for a second. So viewership is down by 50%. We failed to meet 79% of our performance targets. Let me think what we should do about that. Oh, hey, wait. Uh, I've got an idea. Let's cut 800 employees and give ourselves bonuses. I mean, this is the madness that's going on at the CBC, and it can only happen under this absolutely corrupt, bankrupt of ideas liberal government. Like the rot, as we often say, Mr. Speaker, a fish rots from the head down. And let me tell you, the rot from this government is spreading everywhere. And it spreads so badly that Catherine Tate at the CBC thought that this was a good idea. I can just see it now, right? They call everybody into the boardroom, need to pitch some ideas. Viewership's down 50%. We didn't meet 79% of our KPIs. Let's go around the table. Let's figure out what the solution to this. We got to get things back on track. Um, what if we cut like 800 employees? Oh yes, I like that. Uh, what if we gave out $3.8 million in bonuses? Oh yes, I like that. That's exactly the direction we need to go. And then these liberals stand here, do nothing, and defend it. It's offensive to average Canadians how the CBC is behaving. And so the committee had to take the unprecedented step of saying the CBC shouldn't be paying out bonuses while laying off people. Not the government. They didn't say anything. They just said, oh, whatever, like they do on most files, sort of out of touch, asleep at the switch, making a mess of everything. So they made a mess of this. And I want to go on just a little bit more. So Catherine Tate gets her salaries between 468000 and $551,000 a year. That's a pretty good wage. I think you know most Canadians would be really happy to make a wage like that. In fact, they'd be happy to make a fifth of that. So as the performance of the CBC is going into the tank, right, she decides that bonuses are great, and the bonuses can be up to 28%. So, okay, I've tanked viewership. We haven't met any of our KPIs, missed 79% of them. You know what I think will really fix things up? 
I'm gonna give myself a $154,000 bonus. <laughs> like, you just, you really can't make this stuff up. Any average Canadian seeing this would say, no, that's gotta be a joke. I must, this must be a Beaverton article or something like that. <laughs> like, no corporation would behave this way, except if you're being run by a really incompetent Liberal government where, you know, they appoint people to the Green Slush Fund who just paid themselves and their companies whatever they wanted. There's now an RCMP investigation going on. And as I said, a fish rots from the head down. So this corporation, Crown Corporation, sees that Crown Corporation, you know, making it rain by sending their money to uh, all their buddies' companies, and they say, yeah, well, I think we want to get in on that action. Let's give ourselves some gigantic bonuses. It's just, it's absolutely reprehensible conduct by a Crown Corporation that is running itself into the ground. And what the CBC did is they dished out $18.4 million in bonuses to non-union staff, and wait for this, $3.3 million in bonuses to 45 executives. That's more than $73,000 each. And then they said, you know what, Mr. Speaker, we've given ourselves this wonderful Christmas present, these gigantic bonuses, Let's give some employees at the CBC a Christmas bonus as well. They sent pink slips to 800 employees. That's what they decided was a good thing to do as they made it rain for themselves. So this is why a House of Commons committee took the unprecedented step to say that this has to stop. Now, you would think that if there was a decent minister over there, or a decent prime minister over there, they would have put a stop to that, but no, absolutely not. Just like they didn't put a stop to all the corruption at the Green Slush Fund. They let it go on for years. Despite all the warnings, all the questions at committee, they said these people can run amok and do whatever they want. And that has spread. It's now spread to the CBC. So then we get to, where does the CBC go? They realize, oh, we missed 79% of our KPIs and people are questioning our bonuses. Anybody have any ideas what we should do? Should we try and actually do content that people want? Should we, you know, make sure our local affiliates are getting some coverage? No, um, someone put up their hand and said, what if we just change the KPIs so we all reach them? Then we can keep getting our bonuses. Again, you cannot make this up when they realize that they can't meet any of their own KPIs and they still want to make it rain for themselves, they just change the KPIs. Now, why would they do that? I go back again to this. A fish rots from the head down. The corruption that this government has engaged in for the last nine years has spread out all over the place and people just feel like, we can do whatever, and I'll quote my uh, former member, whatever the H-E double hockey sticks we want to do. And so that's what happened. 